A single mom has got an all-female staff, and her restaurant is her way, her style, her energy, her attitude. It's kind of like right out of a storybook. This is Joy's Once Upon a Time. We have a bountiful beef for table four. Joy is totally whimsical. She does amazing things with food. My favorite is the meatloaf. I mean, you can't go wrong with the pesto, and the meatloaf is delicious. It's comfort food upon comfort food. I think we're into what, a meatloaf sandwich next? We are. We're going to start with some nice local Italian sausage, and they season it to my liking. OK. It's all about joy. Right? It's all about joy. Grass-fed beef. I get to lick the bowl. Lots of onions. Eggs from my wonderful chickens. I use gluten-free crumbs so that everybody that comes in can eat this meatloaf. Very nice. Ketchup, Italian parsley, minced garlic. Yes. Lots of Italian seasoning. Salt and pepper. What is this? It's fennel oil. Fennel because oil. Because I really <laughs> like fennel what? flavor. Right. So I just give it a little bit, maybe a little more, just because we can. Worcester. OK, now we use the best equipment in the house. Our feet. Right? Our hands. So these will get formed into little footballs and then roasted in the oven, 325 for 15 minutes. Yep. What are we into now? We're going to make some meat sauce. Meatloaf panini gets a meat sauce. Well, why not? Okay. Your joy, and you do what you want anyways. That's right. We're going to start with olive oil, carrots, and onions. A little nice sweetness going into this. You don't need to use sugar. You can yeah. use carrots. Oh, That's I'm how my buy. grandfather taught me. Garlic, Italian parsley, Italian seasoning, the Italian sausage. Cook this for about 15 minutes. Some red wine. Yes. Salt, pepper, ground deli meats. We got everything in there, from pastrami to roast beef to salami well, I to... I smoke the corned beef here for our sandwiches, so... Of course you do. <laughs> Tomato and tomato paste. And we'll let this cook down. Yes. And the last step of this is? Kale, basil, pesto. Parmesan cheese, garlic in there, salt. I'm going to buzz that off. Kale from my friend's farm and fresh basil. Now we're going to drizzle our olive oil in there. Are we ready to make this darn sandwich? We are. Let's do it. Just going to get some mayo on this nice rustic bread, just to kind of seal it so the meat sauce doesn't get through. Basil, kale, pesto. Gorgeous. Some meat sauce on there. This is meatloaf slash meatball sandwich. Well, it just makes my heart sing because my grandfather used to make this in the Italian deli. Here comes the meatloaf. I love how chunky and rustic it is. Mmm. Great texture. Caramelized onions. Got to go with a little of that, right? Why wouldn't you add 60 other things on your sandwich? <laughs> Vardy cheese. We're going to go grill it. That is one busy panini press. The kale, basil, pesto with the creamy Havarti and the caramelized onions, that is a meatball sandwich, and it is dynamite. Well, we need to rename it then. We do. <laughs> One bite sings pesto, garden bright. And the other side sings old school, old world Italian meat sauce. And you get the two. Oh, my gosh. Meatloaf panini. My mom's going to be mad, but this is better than my mom's meatloaf. She uses a good crunchy crunch bread. The meat sauce really has some nice bite. The pesto just puts it over the top. Rustic Italian with smoked chicken. Once upon a time is like a diamond in the rough for us. Just a special place. You're outstanding. The restaurant concept is on so many levels very storybook. And you back it up with outstanding food. You're the real deal. <laughs> Yay. Awesome to meet you.